Today's video we learn, how to accurately weight in analytical balance. Hello, I am Birain Godasara and you are watching Intelligent Learning. The true sign of intelligence is knowledge but imagination. In this video we imagination. What's impact of electrically charged sample and receivers? Weighing of volatile samples. Handling of warm and cool samples. Weighing of hygroscopic samples. Weighing of aseptic or biohazardous samples. Weighing corrosive materials. And safety consideration when weighing. What's impact on accuracy by electrically charged sample and receivers? Dry, finely divided powder may be charged with static electricity that can make the powder either attracted to or repelled by the receiver or the balance, causing inaccurate weight measurements and specimen loss during transfer. A drift in the balance readings should alert the operator to the possibility that the material has a static charge. Commercially available balances with a built-in anti-static device can be used to remedy the problem. Such devices may use piezoelectric components or a very small amount of a radioactive element, typically polonium, to generate a stream of ions that dissipate the static charge when passed over the powder being way. Anti-static way boats, anti-static guns, and anti-static screens also are commercially available. The static charge depends also on the relative humidity of the laboratory, which in turn depends on atmospheric conditions. Under certain conditions, static charge is caused by the type of clothing worn by the operator, and this charge can cause large errors in the weighing. Borosilicate glassware and plastic receivers have a well-known propensity for picking up static charge, especially at low relative humidity. The gloves used to protect the operator also may increase the potential for a static charge problem. Placing the container in a metal holder may help to shield the static charge, and anti-static gloves also can help to alleviate the problem. How weighing of volatile samples? When weighing a liquid that has a low boiling point, analysts must receive the specimen in a vessel with a gas tight enclosure of small diameter. The analyst then thoroughly the vessel and enclosure, adds the desired amount of sample, and replaces the enclosure. After the balance display stabilizes, the analyst records the specimen weight. How weighing of warm and cool samples? Samples that are warm or cool should be equilibrated in the laboratory, or the weight readings may be erroneous. With regard to warm samples, the apparent weight is smaller than the true weight because of heat convection. For example, a flask that is warmer than ambient air warms up this air, which then flows upward along the flask, and reduces the apparent weight of the contents by viscous friction. How to weighing of hygroscopic samples? Hygroscopic materials readily absorb moisture from the atmosphere, and steadily gain weight if left exposed. Therefore, Hygroscopic samples must be either weighed promptly or placed in a vessel with a gas tight enclosure. For a gas tight vessel, analysts should thorough the vessel and enclosure, add the desired amount of sample, and replace the enclosure. After the balance display stabilizes, the analyst can record the specimen weight. How to handle aseptic and biohazardous samples? The weighing of sterile or biohazardous samples should take place within the confines of a clean bench, biosafety cabinet, isolator, or similar containment device. Airflow within the hood potentially can cause balance instability. So, after a balance has been installed under a hood, analysts should perform a rigorous qualification study with cabinet in order to determine the acceptability of the balance performance in this environment. How to weighing of corrosive materials Many chemicals, such as salts, are corrosive, and materials of this nature should not be spilled on the balance pan or inside the balance housing. 
Extra care is essential when materials of this nature are weighed. Analysts should consider the use of sealed containers such as weighing bottles or syringes. In the event of a spill, requalification of balance may be necessary, depending on the nature of the spill. What is safety consideration when weighing? During a weighing, the analyst may be exposed to high concentrations of a pure substance. The analyst must carefully consider this possibility at all times, and should be familiar with the precautions described in the substance's material safety data sheet before weighing it. Hazardous materials should be handled in an enclosure that has appropriate air filtration. Many toxic, and possibly allergenic, substances present as liquids or finely divided particles. When weighing these substances, analysts should use a mask that covers the nose and mouth to prevent any inhalation of the substance, and they should use gloves to prevent any contact with the skin. The use of gloves is good practice for handling any chemical. If it is necessary to handle the container being weighed, the analyst should wear gloves not only for self-protection but also to prevent moisture and oils from being deposited on the weighed container. Key notes of this video. A drift in the balanced readings should alert the operator to the possibility that the material has a static. Volatile and hygroscopic specimen must receive in a vessel with a gas tight enclosure of small diameter. Samples that are warm or cool should be equilibrated in the laboratory. Aseptic and biohazardous samples weighing balance with cabinet to avoid the airflow. Corrosive materials extra care to be taken for avoid spillage. Gloves is good practice for handling any chemical for self-protection and also to prevent moisture and oils from being deposited on the weighed container. Thanks for watching, hits the thumbs up. If you enjoy, share this video for your friend and colleague. How you feel for this video, please comment below. Do not forget the subscribe for update. And see you in next video.